China is going to become the biggest customer of semiconductor by 2020. By then, they will consume 55% of the world semiconductor production. But as a supplier, they only produce 15% of that. However, it's very unlikely for China to invest 35 to 50 billion over eight to 10 years required through a greenfield approach to grow their capabilities. More likely, they're going to partner with somebody and invest with others, especially in logic foundry where the capability cap is the biggest. The investment and partnership will build on the capabilities and strengths of China today across a low priced devices and helped local players like SMIC to grow. In turn, the growth there will more likely to help the local players get into mid-range devices, such as uh, Internet of Things devices, and help them get more of the share and grow their capabilities. More importantly, through partnership and in investment with others, not only looking at simple IP or technology transfer, but also looking at acquiring capabilities required that include the leading edge production capabilities, processing technologies, and talents required to help Chinese firm to grow in this semiconductor world. Because it's so difficult through Greenfield approach to acquire capabilities and talents in this very competitive world.